Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com. California Premier Builders LLC, serving Southern California with large and small home and commercial construction services such as remodels, roofing, windows, and solar. California Premier Builders proudly supports Empire PBS and the Let's Dine Out California show. Welcome to another delicious edition of Let's Dine Out Show. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, the food whisperer. And I'm Izzy Bussy, I'm a foodie with an attitude. That's for sure. You know, there's an old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. And that applies to restaurants. There's so many restaurants out there that from the outside, they don't look all that inviting. People tend to just drive by it. But we're gonna do two restaurants today that totally blows that whole saying apart because it may not look on the outside, but guess what? Once inside, nice people, nice owners, and great food. So let's talk about which restaurants we'll be going to today. The first restaurant we're going to is the Beach Sports Grill and Bar. It's located on Limonite Avenue in Riverside. Then we're off to Olivia's Mexican Restaurant on Magnolia Avenue, also in the city of Riverside. So folks, stay tuned. You're in for a big treat and uh, loosen up your belt, get your favorite drink, and join us as we eat our way through Riverside. Okay, the first restaurant is called the Beach Sports Grill and Bar. It's located on uh, Limonite right here in Riverside. Now this restaurant's been around for about 11 years, eight years in this location. And again, from the outside, it's kind of a retro center. It kind of reminds me of the old past. It looks okay, nothing fancy, easy, you can forget about it. But once you walk inside, it's gorgeous. And what's nice is you really feel like you're in a beach. So my wearing Hawaiian shirt really blends in well here. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a the vibe here is casual, it's friendly. Talk to people from the neighborhood, they love this place and they think it's a hidden gem. They really don't want anybody to know about it. So don't come here, right? So, um, what's nice too is they have a real chef. His name is Chef Josh. He's amazing, absolutely an amazing chef. His attention to detail is, is incredible. And the food here, this is a legitimate restaurant with elements of a sports bar. I mean, it's got the TVs and a nice bar and everything. But this is great for the family, uh, except you come early, you know, before, uh, early dinner, not late. Yeah, it turns into a bar um, after 9 o'clock, but prior to that, it is a family restaurant. Right. And great, great food. Yeah. So let's start off with a, one of the popular dishes here for the appetizer. It's called the pokey. It's $12.95. They should call it pokey tower because it's made like a tower. Mm -hmm. First, they have a mixture of cucumber, of mango, of mango habanero dressing, and then ahi tuna cubes. It's about six ounces of the ahi tuna. Then they add wontons, um, crisp wontons, and they add the tuna mixture. Then they press it in, into the mold. Then they add the avocado mix on top of that. Then the fried wonton strips on top of that. And the mold is, they squish it down. The mold is taken off. Shallots are added on top with a balsamic reduction sauce. What an incredible beginning. I know our cameraman loved it. And it's just, it was nice, it was fresh. Great portion size, I think. And the quality of this tuna, I mean, there's no mealiness. Um, it just, you know, it's tender, it has a tropical feel to it. It's the mango and the avocado. Plus, it has a little tangy bite to it. It's, it's just, it's really nice. Yeah, you get the sweetness of the mango, then you get hit in the back a little bit, but great, great beginning. Yeah, I, I don't think it's spicy. It just has a touch of spice, but it's friendly it's enough. I think, it, you know, it's enough for well, a You're a wuss and eat. you yeah. liked it. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. So. Next came smoked prime rib, $29.95. Now this is a big cut. This is about a 16 ounce cut. They have a real smoker in the kitchen there, so they smoke their own prime rib. And this is prime prime rib. So this is like the highest level of prime rib, which you don't find too often, especially for $29.95. What they do is smoke it um, in about three and a half hours, nice and slow. Then it's cut into a 16 ounce portion. They hand cut everything themselves. Then it's served with a big scoop of garlic uh, mashed potatoes. 
grilled asparagus, carrots, yellow squash, and zucchini. Then garlic butter is put on the potatoes, and it comes with incredible cream horseradish. This is fantastic. You, you're the big prime rib person, but I would love this. It wasn't too fatty. It was perfectly done, a nice flavor to everything. This prime rib is tender, but then it gives you that smokiness that it surprises you because you don't expect that with the prime rib. It's mesquite usually. smoked, yeah. Yeah, so it's just has the smoky flavor, but it's tender and juicy. It really is amazing. I mean, I've never had any smoked prime rib before. Are you going to cry with happiness? It, you yes. look like it. And the, the horseradish sauce is just right. It's creamy, but has that kick to it. You know, sometimes you get a creamy horseradish, there's no, no flavor. Next came fish and chips. This is 1995. Wow. This starts with four four ounce fillets. Yes, one pound of uh, basa, which is a, a, I believe a Vietnamese catfish, but it doesn't taste like catfish. It's seasoned, it's put, first put in seasoned flour, then it's, it's put into a beer batter with the seasoned uh, mixture into it. And he takes a lot of attention to defrying because the, it can be real greasy. It's perfectly timed. He takes it out and he drains it. That's a key thing. So the batter is crisp and light. It's served uh, with you get choice of uh, fries or tater tots. We had fries with this and a Thai chili coleslaw. Wow, all I can say, and the tartar sauce. This is an incredible portion. This is enough for two people. Unbelievable. It's light, airy, crispy. It's not like a normal batter you expect a fish and chips to be. It, it can and be the greasy. portions are huge. I mean, the white fish is flaky. There's no fishiness whatsoever. And they make all their sauces here. They make all their sauces here. So this tire sauce, usually I do not like tire sauce. I love this tire sauce. It just has a good kick. Um, it's really good flavor. Next came the Thai pork belly burger, 11.50. Oh my. This is a 5.3 or so ounce. It's a ground pork belly patty, 100% pork belly. So they put it, they season it, they put a little garlic butter on top of that. Then they add a, a Cajun barbecue sauce, Thai coleslaw on top of that. Then they, put, they also put the cheese on the patty. I forgot about the cheese. It's Swiss cheese, real Swiss cheese. And then crisp wontons are on there. And you get to, again, fries or tater tots. This one we had with crisp tater tots. What a nice sandwich. It had the crunch, it had the sweetness, it had a little bite to it, it had a little enough fat on it and enough pork flavor to it. I thought this is a great, great burger. Yeah, I mean, it's moist. What, what one thing we need to say is that all their meats they make here, they sous vide it. So they actually, you know, cook it in this pouch and it's steaming. So all the flavors and juices are in it and then they grill it. So, you know, nothing is dry here. No. And this is juicy, it's crunchy, it has a kick, and you know, it hits all your different senses. It really is And so tater good. tots, my God. How could you go wrong with tater I tots? Know, Come on. seriously. I feel like a little kid. So. <laughs> Next came the pork tenderloin, 1695. This consisted of a 12 ounce pork tenderloin with mesquite seasoning. Then they sous vide it for an hour and a half. Then they grill it, so it's cooked and it's got a little, you know, charred a little bit on the outside. And it's served with um, veggies, the same, the same kind of veggies we had before. And uh, it's all cut up in slices. And it's topped with a delicious sweet onion barbecue sauce and al gratin potatoes. And what a great, great dish. Again, you don't see this kind of quality food at a quote, sports bar. Yeah. And very, very good tenderloin. I love the sauce. It's made with caramelized onions. That's what gives it the sweetness to it. And it's just a fantastic dish. Yeah, and they make their sauce here. So you can't buy it out there. It's not something ready made. They create it themselves. So that's what makes this dish so unique. It's juicy, and then the kick of the barbecue sauce. And it's just so yummy. And then oh, brown potatoes, how can you go wrong with that? Uh, yummy is, is a professional food talk, just to <laughs> let you know. And also, I was going to say, the uh, gratin potatoes are really nice. It's creamy, a lot of cheese in it. That was excellent. So, mm -hmm. And then this is dessert. And this is like the perfect dessert with everything we had. This is called a canoe. This is $8.95. This is a chocolate chip cookie that they bake themselves. It's all from scratch. They let it cool down a bit. Then they add three large scoops of vanilla ice cream, then lots of whippage, whipped, whipped cream, and then chocolate syrup, caramel sauce, and cherries on top. Beautiful, be beautiful ending. It's enough to share for a table. I was just very impressed with the food here. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I when I came in here, I'm like, mm, okay, sports Word bar Alan food. Word Alan Yeah, and none of this really was sports bar kind of food, no. I would say. Okay, chef, 
First of all, your kitchen is very clean. That's Thanks, a good sir. sign. So you try. Um, you're making a dish now. It's one of your most popular dishes. One of the best ones that I've ever had. Your mac and cheese with chicken. So uh, let's get right into it. It's really, right, really amazing. So we've already got our chicken breast down. We're gonna go ahead and give that a turn real quick while we get our pasta going. Okay. And then we'll hit that with just a little bit of butter. Okay. And some seasoning here. A little seasoning, butter. Okay. So we use a cavatappi. It's kind of a corkscrew pasta. It has a, a cylinder all the way through it, and it holds a lot of sauce. And it's got a nice chew to it. That's why yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's got a nice bite to it when it's cooked al dente. So today we're just going to finish it off here in the water. Okay. So we've got our saute pan going here. It's already been on the heat for a little bit. And we'll go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of oil. Okay. Next, we got our garlic. We're going to tilt the pan a little bit and get it nice and cook it really fast there for us. And we'll finish with some white wine here. With garlic, white wine. A little, a little, a little. I know when I was working in the kitchen, one of the joys is the, the aromas. Oh my God. It, you you know, never get tired of it. No, but it, it does kind of fill your stomach up before you even eat. Right. Now we'll hit it with some of our cheese sauce here. Can I hear the cheese sauce? And, and our bacon. So it's bacon and what kind of cheese sauce? How do you make so your cheese sauce? our cheese sauce is garlic, cream, wine, and all we're doing is really thickening it up. And so when we have it into our, our saute pan here, it thins out. What really kind fast. of cheese is in there? And so we use a mix of a cheddar, cheddar Monterey Jack blends, and then we have some Munster in there with a little bit of uh, Parmesan. So four different cheeses. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna plate it in a bowl behind me. Give okay. me one sec, and I'll grab that bowl. Oh, so you put it in there, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you, you get the bowl and I'll toss it. How's that? There you go. I don't know Just if I can do that good, you. but... I can't do that good. I like a little bit. There we go. Here, you all do right. better. That's all right. Don't, don't worry, I'm not going to take your job. Probably. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. Can't get enough cheese and can't get enough butter or bacon. No. And then we finish off with our, our bruschetta right on top. Bruschetta? Okay. So about how many ounces is the That's chicken? A four ounce chicken breast. Four ounce chicken breast, okay. So we sous vide all of our chicken breast and our steaks. We sous vide everything here. Everything, and then we finish it off on a grill to give it our char flavor. You don't find that very often, I'll tell you. No, but it gives a little bit extra moisture in there. You usually use about 80% of your juices when you cook it on a grill. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This is our mac and cheese, gourmet mac and cheese with our bruschetta, chicken breast, and garlic cheese bread. It's on the menu and I highly recommend it and so much that I'm going to taste it again. I have there to. There you go. Oh, look at that. It's hot. Mm. Where are you? <laughs> again, it's very creamy and the flavors of the cheese just jumps out and that garlic, you get that garlic hit. Thank you. Great combination. But chef, thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'm going to bring this to Izzy and we're going to have fun. There you go. You enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. What's next? Next, we're off to Olivia's Mexican restaurant on Magnolia Avenue in Riverside. Well, here we are at Olivia's. It's been open, what, since 1978? Yeah. And really nice family. And one thing about this restaurant, it's very, very, no matter when you come, there's always family here. So the food is consistent as can be. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It's clean. The staff are friendly and they're very, very efficient. And the food, I mean, there's a lot of food here. And uh, let's get right into it. How does that sound? Great. Sounds, sounds good. Good. First item we had was breakfast nachos de chorizo, $12.99. Consisted of pork chorizo, which they put on a flat top and uh, you know fry it up a little bit. Then they had beans, cheese, chips. Then they had the chorizo, more cheese, and they put it under the broiler to melt. Then they add queso fresco, cheese, onion, tomatoes, and cilantro. And if you want it, you can have eggs, two eggs on it, and a little parsley. What a wonderful breakfast! I mean, it's very clever, but it's absolutely delicious. And I like nachos to begin with. This is a Amazing. When you cut open the egg, and oh. I love the gooeyness 
and the saltiness and you know the crispy all together in one. Now, how'd you like the chorizo? The chorizo was really good by itself. Actually, I picked a couple of pieces out <laughs> just to eat that. Had, had a little kick to it. It was really yes, good. Yes, definitely. So. Another great item is the Camarones Agua Chilies, $18.99. This is a cold plate, but well worth it. It starts out with sliced cucumbers, then 16 large shrimp that they butterfly. Then it's marinated with cilantro, onions, garlic, serrano chilies, salt, lime juice is put in a blender, pureed. Then they pour it over the shrimp to marinate. Then it's served with red onions, slices, sliced tomato, avocado, a little tahini seasoning, orange slices, and parsley. What a great beginning and very fresh and lots of flavors. I like the tanginess, the freshness. You really taste the shrimp. It's really sweet. I love cucumber so, you know, and the avocado. So just everything about it is really good. It's got a little kick to it, too. And it's real tangy and just really, really good. So. Yeah, it's not too spicy. So no. it's just enough kick, but it goes away. I agree. So Next came the shrimp sampler plate, $24.99. All I can say is, oh, my. This consists of four jumbo shrimp that it has house seasoned and with a garlic butter. Then four crab stuffed shrimp with a white wine butter sauce. Then to skewer a four shrimp with red and green bell peppers and onions. Then four bacon wrapped shrimp, lots of shrimp. Then six deep fried shrimp. And to top it off, four jumbo shrimp. It's a tempura batter style and it comes with rice and beans. So you talk about an ocean full of fish. This was an incredible uh, experience and an incredible sauce, the cocktail sauce. Yeah, they actually make their own cocktail sauce here. And they did tell us what ingredients are in there, but we're, I'm not going to double. We can't say it. can't say it. And you get a lot of shrimp. You get like 25 shrimp. 28. 28 shrimp? I can't count. Yeah, there's 28 shrimp. I can't wow. count it out. And that's just a steal, including the rice and beans. It's huge. I mean, it's like four people can eat off this. And tortillas. So. Next came the Olivia's Taco Trio, $17.99. This consisted of three different things. Now, you can have your choice. You can have one seafood or two or whatever you want. We had decided to have mahi-mahi shrimp and calamari. It comes with six corn tortillas, large ones. Then what they do is uh, put the different seafoods on the top and most of all the seafoods have shredded cabbage, cilantro. The calamari has a special sauce, sour cream and black pepper. Then they added shredded cabbage, kind of like a pickled cilantro mix with chipotle and um, a dressing and a cilantro dressing. Oh my, another incredible dish. I really like the calamari. So unique. I love that the fish is not fried, it's grilled. And also the shrimp is not fried, it's grilled. So I really like these tacos. It's really tasty, has a lot of flavor. Plus they give you a lot of meat. I mean, I, I looked at the price, you know, I thought oh, that's a lot of money, but you got a lot of seafood. So. And all the dishes here, if it, if it sounds high price, it's really not because you get a lot of food and everything. Speaking of a lot of food, the next one, oh geez. This was a sizzling fajitas trio at $28.99. This consisted of a chicken breast cut up along with beef. Then they have jumbo, six jumbo shrimp, red green bell peppers with onions. It's put on a flat top and cooked. Then it's served on a sizzling hot plate and it's topped, everything's on top together. And they put a red wine sauce to give it a more of a sizzle and a lot of smoke. It's served with rice and beans. Oh, fresh, 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 delicious, delicious. The meat are juicy and just delicious. It comes out sizzling hot, it's steaming, it, all the sound effects and smell is just out of this world. Yeah, when they bring it through the dining room, everybody looks. It's one of these dishes. Exactly, yeah. They do a lot of catering, full catering. This is one of the most popular dishes. It's a giant burrito, basically. It's called a big party burrito. It's $23.99. This is a steal. This consists of three 14-inch large flour tortillas. It's put on a grill just for a couple of minutes just to give it warm a little bit. Then they add refried beans, lots of it, rice, lots of that, and chili verde, tons of chili verde, big chunks of the pork with a delicious tangy sauce. 
and they fold it over and guess what? More sauce, more cheese, then they melt it. Incredible, we cut it open to show it. It's not just rice and beans and a little meat. You get a lot of meat here. They said it feeds actually six to eight people. But I think you can, if you have other items in your, you know, like party, this would serve by eight to 10 people, I yeah. personally think. No, very, very good. And you can have it with carne asada, chicken, whatever, but. Oh, you can I, have it all veggies if you're a vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah, true, but I would definitely like the chili verde, so. Mm -hmm. Then they have lots and lots of desserts. They make everything from scratch here. First, there's, uh, let's see, we got fried apple burrito with a lot of whipped cream and ice cream, lots of ice cream. Then we have flan, homemade flan, and uh, fried ice cream with whipped cream and cherries on all of them, and I know you really like the flan. Yeah, and I usually don't like flan because it's eggy. This one is like creme brulee on steroids. <laughs> Oh, it's dense. Yeah, very dense. But the caramel sauce, they make it themselves. They make everything from scratch here, so it's just so flavorful. Okay, chef, well, this is one of your specialties here that for breakfast, it's a, a potato, chorizo, yeah, enchiladas. Hey. Okay, so what do you start with? Uh, we're gonna start with the chorizo. Chorizo, okay. Yeah. Bell peppers and onions. Bell peppers and onions, okay. I see you have potatoes. They're already cooked, right? Yeah, they're okay. already cooked. Okay, now you add the potatoes. I add the potatoes. Paprika. Paprika. Now you just kind of mix everything up. Mix okay. everything up. Beautiful. For tortillas. Enchiladas. So two, for two enchiladas. Okay, you got two tortillas. Or you deep fry them a little bit. Okay. That's to soften them up, right? Okay. Is that an enchilada sauce? Yes. Okay. Mmm. Okay, then you add some cheese. Then you get the mixture. Okay. That looks really good. Okay, so basically enchiladas. So now you add some uh, refried beans to it. Enchilada sauce. Enchilada sauce. Beautiful. Okay, then you add some cheese. Monterey and uh, cheddar. Yeah. Again, everything here is made fresh. That's what's so nice yeah. about your restaurant and all your food. Yeah. Oh, show off. Go ahead. Uh, see that? Look at that. Oh, man. Look at the bubbly. Of... More potatoes. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. The only thing missing now is the egg. Wow, look at that. That's perfect. There it is. Chorizo, potatoes, bell peppers, enchiladas with two eggs. More potatoes, rice, or beans. Wow, it's amazing. Well, you know, I've got to taste it. Is that okay? Let's see. Let me taste your sauce first. Let's... To me, the, the, the what makes a good Mexican restaurant are the sauces. The sauce. Mm. Wow, it's got a little kick to it, but not too much. Your chorizo is great. A lot of flavor. Oh man, this is really good. And again, it's not real greasy. Mm. Good job. Thank you. You've got to eat more. You're too skinny. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll talk to the owner, but you got to eat more, okay? Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. Thank you. One thing about the food, I think I mentioned, it's very consistent. I loved everything here. There wasn't, you know, a dish that I didn't like. And as you can see behind us and here, there are a lot of people. This place is full. And again, they do a lot of catering. So again, this is Olivia's in Riverside. Highly recommend, uh, you know, if you like really good Mexican food, this is a great place to come to. Well, there we have it, two great restaurants. Uh, the beach is fun, big, nice big portions and great food. And here at Olivia. So this is a fun show, fun day, and uh, but I'm full now, so. so really? You, um, you sure you don't want more? <laughs> no, I'm full, so. <laughs> so until next week, food critic Alan Borgen here. And I'm Isabel Bussey. Happy eating, Happy everybody. Eating. What am I trying to say? I, I can't even speak English yet. Anyway, you know, you know, <laughs> okay, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I get excited, I'm sorry. Cheers. Mmm. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I talk like a little girl. Um, yeah. <laughs> like Chucky. <laughs>
Okay, now I'll give you a dollar if you can eat half of this burrito. Uh, no. Dollar fifty? No. Oh, I'll keep going. I have money. Two dollars. You can do it. No. They always say, I don't eat much. I eat like a bird. Yeah, a vulture. Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com. California Premier Builders LLC, serving Southern California with large and small home and commercial construction services such as remodels, roofing, windows, and solar. California Premier Builders proudly supports Empire PBS and the Let's Dine Out California show.